Hello, you are on Watson. Today, we're going to tell you about the intricacies of cutting plywood on CO2 laser machines, the material characteristics, and how to achieve the best and cleanest cut. Follow the tips and you will definitely succeed. The first thing to consider is the material. The important thing is that some kinds of plywood are not suitable for laser cutting. This is why. Choosing plywood, you should consider the following points. 1. Plywood kind. The quality and complexity of the cutting process depends on the kind of plywood. The disadvantages of low-grade plywood include cracks, strong flexure, bubbles between veneer layers, and uneven thickness of a sheet. The following kinds of plywood are suitable for cutting. 1-1 one, one, and 2-2. Two, 3-3 two. Three, three and 4-4 four, four types have many disadvantages that can result in product failures. 2. Plywood thickness. Plywood up to 6 mm thick is the most suitable for laser cutting. When cutting plywood up to 8 to 10 mm thick, there is fouling at the product edges, and the speed of operation is quite low. 3. Wood veneer type. Birch veneer is the most suitable type of wood veneer for laser treatment. Once the desired material has been selected, we can start working. First of all, we need to check power and speed settings. Power and speed settings should be selected liberally in case a laser beam hits a knot or an area with a thick layer of glue. Another important component of clean cutting is good air blowing. With a good airflow, there is no soot and fouling on the product, which saves you time on post-processing. For this reason, we recommend choosing a more powerful air compressor. For example, 1.5 to 2 atmospheres would be quite enough. Here are some recommendations for engraving on plywood. It is advisable to minimize blowing and engrave an image cross grain. For a better result, you can use masking tape, which saves the area outside the image from fouling. The use of masking tape is reasonable for small amounts of cutting and for products without small fragments. Otherwise, it will be quite difficult to clean the product from the remnants of the tape. Watson machines have a rigid frame design, 3M belts, and belt gearboxes, which allows for perfect results without blurring when cutting or engraving a pattern. When cutting plywood up to 6 to 10 millimeters thick, it is important to consider the following. 1. Blowing has to be strong. The stronger the blowing, the cleaner the cut. 2. You should use a medium, 3 inches or 76.2 millimeters, or long, focal, 4 inches or 101.6 millimeter lens. 3. Speed and power are set liberally. 4. Good alignment is very important, as it allows you to avoid a sloping cut. If your tasks require using plywood over 8 mm thick, you should choose a 100 watt laser tube or even a 130 watt laser tube. Follow the rule of 10 watts per 1 mm of plywood, but use the laser tube at 80% of its wattage in order to extend its service life. Our specialists are always ready to help you with choosing the most optimal equipment for your tasks. In order to avoid rifled curves, you should monitor the belt tension. Belts should not sag or be overstretched. We are constantly making modifications based on our customers' feedback and improving the quality of our machine tools. Follow our recommendations and you will achieve good results. If you still have questions, feel free to share them in the comments. We will be glad to answer them. Please like it and subscribe to the channel. This is Watson. 
See you in the next video.